KHON2 Weather, Kamaka Pili. Aloha la pule. Happy Sunday to everybody. It's been a beautiful weekend despite a little warm thanks to the light winds that continue to prevail. It seems to be uh, never ending and unfortunately it's going to continue through the new week ahead of us. Single digits for the most part where our showers, we may start off the day with more dry conditions but that may increase to more scattered showers across all the islands during the afternoon hours and as we get into the evening hours around 8, 9 o'clock that's really going to start to increase the beginning of some wet days ahead of us. So we're going to keep our threats for our ua, our thunderstorms even for Hawaii Island on a little moderate along with our ocean conditions. High surf advisory in effect right now at least and through tomorrow morning for north facing shores. Whereas by tomorrow afternoon that's going to dip down under that 15 footer mark which triggers a high surf advisory. 8 to 12 footers tomorrow afternoon up north. 4 to 6 for the west down on the south as well and 3 to 5 footers coming in from the east. North of the islands we have this big storm system and it's slowly going to start to move away and lift up but I want to really pay attention because once all that moisture kind of moves up it only gets pushed right back down and that's only going to reinforce one another cold front that's going to be moving in through the middle of the week. That in addition to some moisture south of the islands which continues to be pulled up towards the north directly over the islands. So we're going to continue to see wet weather and then that's going to become more widespread as we progress through the middle of the week. For tomorrow we're going to continue to see similar to today where most of the showers especially during the afternoon remained over Maui and Hawaii Island but especially for inland areas of all the islands as you can see this winds coming up from the south that really indicates another cold front boundary moving over the islands. So as we progress through tomorrow, Monday, in showers will start to increase, especially by tomorrow evening. And then we have this next cold front boundary that makes its way, really situating itself and focusing towards Kauai and Oahu for the most part, not to say that the east end of the island chain is in the clear, but we're really going to see the, the bulk of the moisture remain over towards the west, and that's just for the first half of the week, but that will continue. Fortunately, we do see some relief by next weekend. Tomorrow, 90 degrees, looking to be a high. Scattered showers across all the islands, and again, that isolated thunderstorm threat remains for Hawaii Island, really during the warmest part of the day, which is around 12 to around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's what we've seen because of that light winds. During that time, we've seen some afternoon shower flare-ups for Hawaii Island and Maui in particular really from this point moving over towards Oahu and Kauai we really didn't see anything trigger on the rain gauges across the island chain. Wet weather and days ahead of us the, the greatest chance of showers Tuesday Wednesday Thursday good news we start to see relief by Friday especially those trade winds coming in from a more north cooler condition and flow. Sam I'll give it back to you.